There is a new scandal involving the ATF that broke via USA Today. We have the background on it at Infowars.com right now. ATF arming robbers in hatched plots that they hatch, leaving many dead. ATF domestic sting operations eclipse operation Fast and Furious. They go out and find people that they pressure to go out and commit crimes with illegal guns so they can then point at that and call for all of us to lose our guns as their own internal memo showed on Fast and Furious where they ship thousands of guns into Mexico to then blame the Second Amendment when crimes were committed with them. That's called a false flag event. I'm going to be getting to that more in just a moment and a bunch of other news I haven't covered yet. But first off, the July issue of InfoWars magazine is in. You can sign up and get a 12-month subscription uh, at InfoWarsStore.com. It makes a great gift subscription. Big, color, glossy, 60-page magazine full of political cartoons, documents, articles, posters. Uh, you name it, this issue deals with you are the target of government spying and gets into what the NSA is really up to. And I did this a few months ago. This is the last time I'm doing this for the next six months, maybe a year. We, we, we published three big Infowars.com bumper stickers in it, outdoor bumper stickers, the high quality ones. This one has 10 of them in it, four big ones, six little ones. I mean, the little ones are medium size to put on your own property or legal and lawful areas. Talk about an Infowars bomb in the Infowar. Again, it's got six medium size bumper stickers that you can stick wherever you want. And then it's got the four full size ones America has been occupied by globalist forces infowars.com and then uh, under here it says listen to Alex Jones infowars.com and here's another one infowars.com forbidden information and then listen to Alex Jones at infowars.com great way to wake people up so ladies and gentlemen we're talking 10 bumper stickers. What did you guys just do in there? Because my audio suddenly got clear. I was telling you my audio had been kind of low in my, in my earpiece, and it just suddenly clicked in, and then I could hear it good. Wow, that was amazing. That was like the sun coming back or something. Wow, it was driving me crazy not being able to hear barely. Uh, that, was, that was neat. So again, ladies and gentlemen, InfoWarsStore.com. You can also buy the magazines in bulk in groups of 10 up to 100 at cost to wake up friends and family or put them around your dental office, your barber shop, your store, or buy them in bulk at cost and sell them. Looks like the old-fashioned Rolling Stone, you know, the big, large size uh, magazine. And lastly, uh, that doesn't really support the broadcast. It just supports liberty in general and wakes people up. Things like ProPure water filtration, stainless steel, the best out there, side-by-side -side comparisons at InfoWarsStore.com. You can get these incredible filtration systems that cut out so much of the garbage that's out there. One of the biggest things you can do for you, for you and your family's health. All the families out there deserve this. Your children deserve this. You can get the ProPure water filtration systems and get 10% off the already lowest price on the Internet with the promo code WATER online at InfoWarsStore.com on our online shopping cart, or when you call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139. And your purchase of the ProPure systems and the books, the films, it's a huge online shopping center there at InfoWarsStore.com. That funds so much of what we're doing here. So I want to thank all of you for shopping with the Patriots, shopping with the good guys. It's not only important to shop local or shop America, or if you live in, say, Canada or the UK or Germany, to shop local. It's important to shop with the Patriots, to shop with the Libertarians. Infowarsstore.com. We're the only operation of its kind, a true libertarian constitutionalist that goes after both parties and exposes the inside scoops fearlessly. This is the biggest and best operation out there. We'd like to do a lot better job. And the more support we get, the more we can do it. Infowarsstore.com. And lastly, support our local AM and FM affiliates. Spread the word about this broadcast. Whether you're listening to me here in Austin on 590 AM or in Chicago, if you're listening to us on 1530 or the 160 plus AM and FM affiliates across the land. 
Okay, I'm done with the daily plug there, but that's also how we fund our operation. Let me get to this thing that I just mentioned here, and I'm going to get uh, Larry Pratt on this week of Gun Owners of America to break it down, but ATF arming robbers and hatching plots, leaving many dead. ATF domestic sting operations eclipse Operation Fast and Furious. In sting operations similar to the 1993 World Trade Center bombing, which left six dead, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms are pressuring um, and arming people to rob fictitious drug stash houses, and the bust have left at least seven people dead, according to USA Today. Now, remember, our government, on record, the banks that have hijacked it, ship in most of the narcotics. Even Bloomberg reports that. They run the guns, the drug cartels, all of it. So they need low-level idiots to bust for the media to make it look like they've done something. And it just goes on with a lot of legal scholars, constitutionalists saying this is, this is illegal. This is beyond entrapment. And it's very, very dangerous. And it's then used to blame the Second Amendment. It's then used. They've, in fact, it came out. They've used these cases and anti-gun stuff on TV. Uh, and, and as we learn more and more, it'll get even worse, of course, just like Fast and Furious, which CBS News, to their credit, got the internal memos from higher up saying, cover this up. We're going to use this to go after the guns. Well, of course, I said that before it came out. Of course, they were already on the news when Obama got elected. They were already on the news. In, in, in 2009, going, we've got to turn our guns in. We've got to ban semi-autos. They're being used in Mexico. We've got gun tracker programs. That's how we know the White House was lying, because it turned out they had directed it. And before they got caught arming the cartels, they said, oh, yeah, we're tracking the guns in this program. You bet you were tracking them. You were giving them the guns because the drug cartels are buying full auto and buying armored vehicles. And having Goldman Sachs, uh, you know, type mega banks launder the money. It's come out with all these big Federal Reserve connected banks, mainly Wachovia and Wells Fargo, the ones that have been busted with the hundreds of billions of drug money and specifically running the aircraft, the weapons, you name it to them. When's the last time you heard about a big Federal Reserve shareholding bank? Because all the big six banks own share in the Federal Reserve, the private offshore Federal Reserve. And just, just go into your LexisNexis if you're a reporter and type in Federal Reserve Bank, you know, $6 billion in drug money, $20 billion in drug money. You'll see it all the time, but nobody gets in trouble. Instead, they'll raid some dilapidated drug house just, to, you know, a few times a year per city to make it look like they're doing something. Our government has been involved in the drug trade, taxing it since it was legal in 1789, cocaine, opium, laudanum, then heroin after the 1860s when they invented purifying it, the derivative of opium, all of it, just shipping it in in mass on record. The CIA Solicitor General, 1997, look it up, congressional hearings admitted it. This is a public secret, a public secret. There's Forbes. Is the Federal Reserve using money laundering techniques to cleanse banks' balance sheets? Uh, I don't know. Do bears go poo-poo in the woods? I mean, is Charlie Manson a lunatic? Is Bill Clinton a liar? Does Superman have a red cape? Is the Easter Bunny a bunny? Do turtles have shells? Are Ewoks stupid and ruin Turn of the Jedi? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's already time to go to break again. All right, we'll be back. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to get into the really big news after that. U.S. on alert for possible fireworks bombs. Nanny Cam Home Invader, who assaulted mother in front of her child, was known to have entered a neighbor's home, but no one did anything. He had four burglary convictions and just been let out of prison. Obama compares Nelson Mandela, a hardcore communist, to George Washington. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms. 
50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of june to the info war you know in england they are moving to ban without a license having any type of sharp knives even for chefs because someone might do something bad with a knife why not ban cars? Someone might run people over with cars. Look out, they're coming out with the new Mercedes and things where the car won't let you do stuff like that, supposedly. But then if an unnamed agency or individual wants to hack into your Mercedes and drive it off the road in a fireball, they can, can't they? By the way, I had the Rolling Stones uh, editor's uh, army buddy that he was embedded with uh, off and on for years, as uh, one of his best friends on the show, and he thinks they probably killed him. He was at the funeral. The wife of Michael Hastings thinks they probably killed him, and she says, I'll bring down whoever did this. And they uh, said that he was being death-threatened by the Army. They were going to kill him. And it was the biggest story ever, and he was going into hiding two hours before his car blew up, witnesses said, and then flew off the road into a tree. And that has been out in the news now for six days, breaking on my show, and no one that I've seen has covered it. I mean, even if we're crazy to question him being blown up. You know, when the army's going, you're dead for what you've released. We're going to kill you. And it turns out it's not just hearsay on my show. He wrote that in one of his books. But he was getting death threats the day he died and said, I'm going into hiding. And then his car blows up. I'm getting death threats. I'm going into hiding. Biggest story ever. Imperial troops are the base. Imperial troops are the base. <laughs> I mean, it's to continue the cheesy Star Wars analogies. I'm waiting for him to say at the 50th anniversary that Kennedy wasn't even assassinated. In fact, you're a conspiracy theorist if you say he was killed, period. A gnat did that to him. A gnat. It was a convertible. They were going too fast. We were in Texas. Big gnats here. Everything's bigger. Like the gnats in the cartoon with the big sharp nose. Blew his head clean off. Blew the brains all over Jackie's pretty little dress. I'm telling you, folks. I'm telling you, that's what mainstream news says. I'm sticking to it. I'm not going to question anything. Vince Foster, you know, witnesses saw him dragging a dead body out there, and Hillary cleaned out his office, and all the witnesses, he was shot in the top of the head. Hey, a lot of people wrap themselves up in a carpet and take themselves and throw themselves in a park. I'm going with that. And I think Richard, Richard, uh, was it Edward? I keep saying Richard Snowden. It's Edward Snowden. I, I, you know what? I'm teleprompter free. That's going to happen. But let's get to the really big threat. Every time there's any event going on, Christmas, uh, New Year's, uh, Halloween, uh, 4th of July, we've got to hear the terrorists are planning to hit us. And, oh, the Army's going to be out at events all over the country. And the TSA is going to be in cities all over the nation, randomly searching people on the roads and at the terminals now, and Bloomberg wants to ban fireworks in New York State, not because they can burn stuff down, but because, you heard it, folks, the terrorists might get them and make a bomb out of them. Just like we got to ban knives. I mean, you know, you can't be trusted. Now, government can have nuclear weapons and missiles and tanks and armored vehicles and two billion bullets and be training to take on gun owners and tea partiers, but that's okay. U.S. on alert for possible fireworks bombs. Here's UPI security officials. They're not servants, they're officials. Said U.S. police should be on the alert. What, for Al-Qaeda, you gave 10,000 heat-seeking missiles in uh, Syria? You got all the neighbors freaked out, even the pro-West uh, Jordanians are freaked out. They're like, why are you bringing Al-Qaeda in by the... Now it's over 100,000, they're saying, into our area and giving them heat-seeking missiles while they dance around saying we're going to blow up more, more buildings. We publish these videos, and we post them on InfoWars.com every day, cutting people's heads off, cutting their hearts out, blowing up synagogues, blowing up churches, blowing up a Shiite mosque that these Wahhabists don't like. Our government has brought over 100,000 at any one time. It was 60. Now it's over 100,000 to attack Syria, who did nothing, and who's secular, a Ba'athist regime, but, oh, we got to ban our fireworks. Jiminy Crickets. I mean, uh, Al-Qaeda is going to blow us up. 
And you're like, well, Alex, the Boston bombing. Oh, the Boston bombing. You got FBI agents being killed that were involved in arresting the, the Patsy brother. Uh, you've got their other witness, them shooting him in the top of the head, admitting he didn't even resist them now. You've got uh, uh, the older brother sent by the CIA to infiltrate Al-Qaeda groups. That's been confirmed. He worked for the State Department. I mean, double agents, bare minimum. They blew up what they probably thought were just a part of a drill. Turns out there was a drill, like I told you. No wonder they're on national TV saying, do not look at Infowars.com. Remember that at the press conferences? It goes on and on and on and on. The United States has been hijacked by foreign banks that run Al-Qaeda. It's criminal elements inside the government steering and piloting it. It's like these science fiction movies where the slug climbs in your ear, Wrath of Khan or Host, and then controls you. I mean, maybe, maybe people can get an analogy or, a, or an allegory. It's not our government. It's criminal interest. They're always talking about national security. National security means they can commit all their crimes. National security means they can shut down coal plants here and move them to China with no environmental standards to build widgets cheaper than we can. National security means they can get away with unlimited crimes against our republic. A bunch of foreign companies and, 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 and a whole bunch of uh, foreign countries have access to your emails, your text, your phone calls. They're all sharing this data. Europe, the UK, the United States, Australia, New Zealand, the Anglo-American Global Empire. And it's called that because of the Anglo-American combines, not meaning white people. It means the, 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 the robber baron index of the British East India, Dutch East India Company model of a corporate empire. Above the law, exempt from taxes, and we aren't. We're not part of the club. So many good old boys, black, white, Hispanic, I don't care, go USA, USA, no matter what the crimes are of this government, bipartisan, because they feel like when they're carpet bombing some villagers in Africa or the Middle East or Asia, that that's our manliness and you're part of it. You pay for it, you don't get the spoils. Our gas prices went up after the Iraq war. It was done because Saddam was selling too much oil and driving down the prices. Go look up the first Gulf War. OPEC was pulling. The Saudis were beside themselves over him driving down the price of oil to pay off his debts. From the Iran-Iraq War that he went $35 billion to the U.S. in to get the nerve gas. The CIA and U.S. satellites were running that war against Iran. The U.S. told him, yeah, go ahead and invade Kuwait to pay us off. They set him up. April Gillespie, the U.S. ambassador. Then they went on TV and called him Saddam Hussein, which means, you know what sodomy means? That's an Arabic word. Saddam they went on there so there was no way he could back off. He was a U.S. CIA, full bore, trained in Egypt, U.S. government agent. Saddam Hussein on record was put in power in 1979 by the U.S. government. He was trained as an army captain in the late 1950s. Look it up. And I'm not a fan of Saddam Hussein, but they tell him to attack Iran, he does it. They tell him invade Kuwait to get the money to pay him back, he does it. They set him up. This is disgusting. To put a bunch of radicals in the Middle East. They're removing secular leaders like him. I don't care how many HBO shows you show, you know, where he's a bad guy. It's so childlike. They go, here's the villain. And we're supposed to go, oh, there's the villain. Here, let's look at some more, some more articles here. The slugs, the globalist slugs that are above the law, that climb in our country's collective brains. And then run us like automatons. And you're like, USA, USA. USA is a foreign banking combine that wants to enslave you and is deindustrializing America. Let me show you this. Obama compares Nelson Mandela to George Washington. I have never seen something that disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. N Nelson Mandela, they tagged on to the anti-apartheid movement, which I think was good. He was a hardcore communist mass bomber. His wife says her favorite thing to do is hang tires over children's heads and necklace them. I mean, he's just a horrible person. He's certainly not George Washington. Look at this. NFL declines to promote Obamacare. That's some good news. Can Wi-Fi let you see through people's walls? CNET News. That's, uh, that's CBS.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.